All right, so I've been asked how you can scale the rig again. So I'm gonna go through the process of properly scaling your rig once it's been skinned. You might run into some problems with this depending on um, how you've kept things perfectly centered or if you've moved things around after skinning it. So Bob actually has a small issue so I can go through it with him. First of all, I'm gonna make a box that represents the new height. Okay, so Bob's five foot nine, but just for practice, I'm gonna to try to scale him down to four foot nine. So something maybe about a foot smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna put that off to the side just as our reference. So the first thing you wanna do is you need to unhide everything for your rig because we're gonna to need to select the bones. I'm gonna take the hands and go into the motion panel, switch them back to FK. Okay, you can leave the feet in IK for this, that's fine. But we need to take the parts that are skinned. So Bob's head and his body are skinned in this one. So I'm gonna take Bob's head, go to the modify panel, and the first thing you need to do before scaling anything is go into skin and under advanced parameters. Okay, you'll have to scroll down or expand your view over. Under advanced parameters, turn off always deform. And then turn off the skin modifier and then I'm gonna to go to the body, do the same thing, go to skin, turn off always deform, and watch what happens when I do this. His body, the mesh pops back. Okay, so I've moved the rig at some point when I saved this, and it's an easy fix, I'll show you how to fix it, but turn off always deform, turn off skin, and I'm just gonna adjust the bones here. Okay, so at some point I've probably rotated his arm it's not a big deal, I'll just rotate it back and line it back up with the hand. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to line that up as best I can. It should just be a simple rotation like that. And even his knee, I'm gonna grab his knee and move it forward. Okay, so it bounced back a bit there. Okay, so that was the only thing with Bob. Uh, if your character has more extreme things that you have to move over it might be a little more difficult to do this so I'm going to click on the mesh or sorry I'm gonna click on the other arm first and copy everything over so select the mesh and hit alt X and you can freeze that for now I'm gonna click on the collarbone and I'm just gonna copy and then paste mirror because I've already fixed that one and then I'll select the leg we'll do copy paste mirror and then that fixes the rig and then I'll unfreeze everything and you can select your characters mesh hit alt X so I'll go to the head first and before you turn on skin go into the skin modifier and we're gonna turn on always deform but before we do this this is the part where we're gonna scale the rig okay so you're gonna go to utilities and I already have this open but if you go into more you can find rescale world units here. So you would click that, it'll open it here. You can click rescale, and then you can uh, pop this down to whatever you want. So normally it's at one, I've already got this set to 0.8. If I click okay, it scales everything down, including that box. So I'm gonna have to recreate the box. And you can see if I take this up to four foot nine, that's how tall Bob is now. Okay, so that worked fine. Now you have to turn your skin back on. So you can go into the mesh, go into skin, turn on always to form first and then turn skin back on and do the same thing for the body. So go into skin, turn always to form on, then turn skin back on and then go in and just add an animation layer test the rig, make sure everything works properly. Okay, so there's no problem here. Now I could save this file, now that this rig is rescaled, and I should be able to merge him in with another copy. So I'll just test it real quick. We'll go save as, I'm gonna make this one Bob scaled. Okay, so I've popped open the Becky file. I'm just gonna merge Bob into here so I don't get any errors. Uh, I'm trying to merge him into the same file with the same rig. 
So I'm going to go up to File, Import, Merge, and I'll find Bob Scaled. Click Open, All, OK. OK, so I'm going to delete these spotlights and stuff, and I'm going to auto rename everything else. OK, so there's Bob Scaled. He's got his walk cycle on. And I could go ahead and start animating from here. Okay, so everything should work properly if you follow those steps. The big important thing is making sure you turn off skin before you scale it and then turn it back on. 